Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Frostpunk. So, we left off trying to um, stop these arcs from freezing over. There was only one that was at risk. And, oh, straight away into free time. Oh, it's good. It's warming up, that's good. That's good. I love the way like, they just, the ice just melts off your screen. It just... Just create some really nice effects in this game. So it says it's freezing. It's not. It's actually comfortable. You can even turn the heating off on there. Brilliant. Right. So they're not in danger anymore. Uh, we need to hit this. Storage limit is reached. Fair enough. Uh, we are really low on coal, actually. I need more coal. So let's put the automaton on onto the coal thumper, which will produce loads of coal, as you can see there. And then hopefully that will give us some more engineers to go collect the coal. The coal is there, it just needs collecting. That's all. Uh, food is very, running very low. Uh, let's see what we can do. Do I unlock the next level and do a hothouse, maybe? I think it might have to be. It's either going to be a hothouse or go for more scouts so I can get some more food quicker. I don't have that many people at the minute. Let's go. I'm oh, not drawing buds. That's what we need. You can see the automaton there heading off to work. So in three hours, we should have some scouts coming back with 36 raw food. So that's very good. we got construction wise uh, okay we, we will blah, blah, words we will need to unlock a sawmill at some point in fact I might just take a couple of people off the layer and then we'll put it on some Wood. Let's gather some wood. Could do with some coming in. Coal is coming in now, which is good. As soon as these scouts are right back with the food, I'm, I'm going to take them off this coal pile here. And I'm going to put them in the cookhouse and get them cooking that raw food. So let's speed it up a bit. Scout unit number one have returned safely to the city with 163 wood and 36 raw food. Okay, we can send them back out. So what I'm going to do is take five off. And I'm going to put five on the cookhouse to turn that raw food into cooked food because we're running really low on that. And then I'm going to send them off to... Industrial ruins. Go find me something interesting, please. Thank you very much. 21 hours until the new automaton arrives. We are managing to survive. That's all good. Might build another couple of tents, maybe. Just in case when we get some if we get some new people. I'll, I'll build one for now. I really need more people. So, speed up time again. Time to rest, folks. What time to time rest. 
Yeah, 56 feet. Right, okay, they've cooked all that, so I'm going to remove them again from the cookhouse. Um, we are fine on wood. We could do some more steel, but I don't think I've got any more steel places. I think I need to uh, unlock the factory tech for that. So what we will do is we'll just, for now, put them on some more coal. Might as well stack it up. person is sick. Oh, alone in this world. So now it's a case of waiting for morning. Here we go. Once these coal piles are depleted, then uh, yeah, things should be all right. A bit better. Someone's, someone's off work. Sick. Damn them. Right. Join Buzz Research. What's this? What's this? Automaton reaches the city. Sir, an automaton has been reached, has reached our city. It's fully operational and ready for work. I see. Right. What do we want to do with that automaton? I'm going to say for now, Kind of have everything we need. So I think let's put it on coal pile, a coal pile. And we'll max up some of the gathering while we can. Like that. Oh, fundamental research, sir. An engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learn how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance. Why shouldn't it be different? any different for, with them? So I can let him carry on and he'll be off work for 24 hours, or I can say, get back to work. I think right now we've got enough people, so I'm gonna say carry on and risk it and hope for the best it's really hard because in the first campaign you have hunters huts so you can send people out to go gather food you don't seem to have this on this campaign so it's uh it'll be interesting right what does a hothouse do a few hardy crops can be grown here supplying up to 13 for raw food per day yes do that one do that one now. In fact, I'm either going to take some staff off and max it out. There we go. Get that researched ASAP. I wonder if these would be comfortable if I turned off this steam pump. Um, let's try. but it's fine so what I'll do is I'll turn these off just to save some coal like so so now my coal should like shoot up which is good because we want plenty of it for later destroyed by a powerful avalanche its interiors are filled with snow but we should still be able to re retrieve some uh, resources we discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow sadly that's not all we find an avalanche killed everyone who worked here their corpses have been frozen solid oh dear the relatively light clothes and the insignia of her majesty's prospector corpse was uh, suggests they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the great winter. Maybe it is for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the empire. So we get 143 steel and 201 coal. 
Now, do we come back with them or do we risk it and go to the Lost Dreadnought? Bearing in mind, I don't really have much steel at the minute. Yes. Then again, I don't really have much food either. Let's risk it. Let's go for the Lost Dreadnought. literally got like a day's worth of rations left not good Night is coming. Put down your I can't even make these work over time can I can I do book of laws yet this is like your research trick yes I can cool so let's have a look what, what can we do we can cook soup instead of full meals to, to feed more people with the same amount of raw food um, eating soup will cause discontent. <laughs> we can add sawdust to, to meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. So it gives us a new me recipe. Um, hope will fall. Discontent will rise. Some people eating sawdust meals will fall ill. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's risky. What I might do is go for emergency shift. that allows me to hear make them me, me. work more in the city. now if the discontent bar rises to 100 percent that's it game over and it's very easy to get there so i have to be a bit careful but as you can see they're not doing the research at the minute and it's going to get cold cold very cold oh dear Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Right, I'll, I'll turn them on in a minute. I'm just going to give it a little bit longer. Get the more the coal we can get, bringing in, people. the better. There's plenty to do. Right, what's happened to my automaton? It was there gathering stuff. Now it seems to have disappeared. Okay, let's put these on. Protect the seeds. There we go. Okay, let's... Ex Our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wedged in a crevasse. Exploring it would be difficult, but we have to find the factory plans that are on board. It might provide steel, steam cores, wood, coal. And there's a technology to require here. Okay. We repelled down into the crevice. Listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking under the weight of the steel behemoth. After an hour or so searching, we find the documents safe and retrieve the factory plans. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute and we need to we need automatons to secure the city and the seedling arts before the storm hits. We get a hundred steel, nice. Three steam cores, very nice. Hundred wood, yep, and fifty coal, and some plans. Brilliant. Right, back to the city then. It's also unlocked broken tree and wind swift, wind swept snowfield. That's going to be later. Factory plans found. Excellent. Now we can start setting up the automated infrastructure to keep the seedling arcs at a safe temperature. Bring back the plans, set up a factory and increase the number of automatons to three. Hope rises. Brilliant. Right, so where's my other automaton gone? Ah, okay, there's one available now. Cool. So... Let's put that on that wood over there, actually. Come on, research my thing. I might build another research pad, actually. That might be a really good idea. Workshop. 15 wood, 5 steel. I think it's worth doing. I might put it over here so it's near the heat. I 
wonder, can you put an automaton on this? Ooh. Ooh, I think you can. Mild frostbite. A citizen become gravely ill. Oh dear. All power deleted. We've got a question mark. Frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. We must do something. Consider signing the radical treatment or sustain life law. I see. I think I will sign a law. Uh, I'll wait one hour to sign a new one. Um, but we'll either go for the radical treatment, uh, which we'll try to, we'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Uh, I hope we'll run slightly, but 30% of the gravely ill treated medical patients will be left as amputees. Oh dear. Or we can go for sustained life. Um, the thing with sustained life is they'll just sit there in the medical post for ages. Have I got all the steam generators on? I think I have, yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's chilly, but it's just doing the thing. Test subject needed. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton project is back. He wants to borrow an automaton. Not again. I'm close to a breakthrough. I just need an automaton for a day, and I believe it be, I'll be able to purpose specific modifications that will raise their performance permanently. Go on then. I'll risk it. Don't break it. Or, I don't know, we'll throw rotten tomatoes at you. Hothouse researched. Yes. Brilliant. So that'll come under food, obviously. A few hardy crops can grow here. Right, I think what we'll do then is we'll put this. Put one here, I think. Or shop it there. Actually, I'll put it there. I like to keep things within the sort of. You know, similar sort of dimensions so you can keep a nice circle going. So you can just create a loop like that. That's nice. Uh oh. Steam cores. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are, ne are necessary components in advanced technology. If we can't manufacture steam cores in the city, well, we can't. So let's hope that our scouts find some doing their expeditions. Okay. I'm sure we will. Okay, new research. I think what we do need is a sawmill and steelworks. So let's unlock them. Coal is doing okay, but food we are out of. how the build doing free time so at least they're doing something doing the free time okay workers max give me everyone possible to make some food people are gonna starve for a day though that is the downside i wonder if i should build another why not why not automaton as well oh nice nice um in that case then oh there's none available yeah it's been researched isn't it uh oh treat the gravely ill uh one of our people is gravely ill if you sign the radical treatment law the gravely ill will be treated as in a medical post uh, but may undergo risky amputations as a result alternatively you can sustain this as i'm not right i guess i'm on I will go for Radical, because I believe that in this harsh environment, uh, 
we can't be dealing with people sitting on their ass doing nothing. So, you know, at least with the peg leg, you know, you can still hop around. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. This content has risen. Even with all our advances in medicine, we have to resort to this. May make sense, but it that just may make it any less cruel. Oh dear. Oh, it's warming up. Cool. Scouts have returned to the city. They've bought 243 steel, 3 steam cores, 100 wood, 251 coal, and 1 factory. Awesome. In fact, actually, a bit full on wood. Best build a uh, storage zone. Uh, resource depot. Let's make that out of the way here. Yeah. Uh, I will make two resource depots. One can be for steel. There we go. Work time. Work time. Okay, we can send them back out again. So, broken tree or windswept snowfield? Let's go windswept snowfield. It sounds nicer. I'll take the automaton off, off that. There's only 36 left. Inoperative? Inoperative? Yeah, they've still got plenty of coal anyway to pick up. It's fine. At least we're creating some raw food, so that's good. I'm gonna have to take an engineer off here and put them in the cookhouse. We've got to turn some of this raw food into, into cooked meals. Build that path. There we go. I oh, build the path. Build the path. Build the path, and then it'd be connected. And everyone would be happy. Thirty-nine percent on our technology for the sawmill. I'm gonna speed up time a bit. Uh, it's gonna get cold, and then it's gonna get very cold. So it'll go down to minus forty, and then in a couple of days it'll drop to minus sixty. Steam core needed. Oh. This guy's gonna, I'm gonna slap him. Sir, the engineer working at the automat automaton project has sent in his report. He broke the automaton he borrowed. Now he wants the steam core. The damage hasn't been for nothing. We can fix the broken machine. We wouldn't have to if he didn't mess about with it. And on top of that, we can now adjust the automatons to make them work faster. The engineer's busy again now, but he said he's onto something really exciting. Uh, we use one steam court. The efficiency of automatons will rise by 5%. But we can't afford it. Um, wait. Wait. How come the efficiency will rise even if we say no? That makes no sense. The automaton's project will end. The efficiency of the automaton's will rise by 5%. Or maybe that allows him to work on something else. I'm going to risk it. Why not? He's already broke one of them. There we go. Automaton's working. Brilliant. They've got plenty of coal still, I think. It's depleting now. Yeah. Let's put it on there for now. The raw food's coming in and it's being turned into cooked rations. So that's the main thing. The crates have been depleted. Now we have an automaton free. Corset beds needed. 
Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They are asking you to address the problem. I will open a new medical post. Uh, I promise the sick will be treated. Or I won't address this right now. I can open one. I, there's no one to work it, but I can open one. Uh, health medical post. Like so. That people get that being built. Got two days to build it. That's fine. I've got to build the factory, haven't I? The factory. A plant where automatons and other highly advanced devices can be produced. It requires one steam go. I've got four. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Let's place it. I should plop it. Plop it there. Plop it there. Plop it there. Oh, plop it there, maybe. Yeah, plop it there. Right. We want to store wood in one. And then steal in the other. That gives us a lot of extra storage space up there, as you can see. So I think what I need to do now is just take one more staff member off that <laughs> that health post <laughs> and put it on there. Hey, I've I've opened it. I've opened it. Why won't you pass the mission? Where are all my people? So, factory produced one automaton from 100 steel, 100 wood, 50 coal, and one steam core. Interesting. So I'm going to build one of them. Then I'm going to take off all the engineers, put the automaton on that to finish those four off. I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going to put all five on that one. Let's put a couple more on there. Oh, healthcare promise fulfilled. You've helped the sick. They and their families are grateful. Hope rises. Lovely. So, 10 are being treated. That's cool. Up. Oh dear. Here comes the cobwebs again. Right. I think the automaton is finished that one. Brilliant. What I might do is put build another gathering post, actually. Yes. And this one's going to be worked by the automaton. Which is going to go and gather this coal. Because I desperately need a uh, coal. Let's more people in the hothouse. We want a bit more food coming in, I think. Let's up that to five. Then we can put a few people, one person in the, in the loading thing. Because uh, we've almost unlocked some wheels. Almost. Sawmill researched. Awesome. So I'm going to go straight on with steelworks. And then we can make a sawmill. And the sawmill can go over here. You see all these trees. All these lovely, lovely trees. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the best place for it. There are some trees up here we could do as well. But I think we'll see. We'll settle for over here. Um, I'm just... 
trying to find the best place to put this actually. Maybe there for now. That'll do for now. I don't know whether these trees just disappear over time as they've been cut down. Or not. I don't know. It's going to get very cold soon. Only for like literally a day. So, what I've got left, one automaton is available. Has that been built? Autominous City! The autom automatons are performing admirably. Now we have to make enough of them to automate all the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. It is the only way to ensure that the seedling arts will be supported during the storm. Hope rises. Okay, so we are going to have to actually build more. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, wooden steel. Very low. Food's not doing too bad actually now. Coal is depleting fast. Oh, is that building it? <gasps> Look at that. How awesome is that? I tell you what. I'm going to get a photo of that. I think that's very cool. Luckily we've got a lovely photo mode. Oh yes. So let me just take off some of the vignette, I think. Move some of this. No, I'll keep some of this up. Yes. No. Like that, I think. That that looks good, I think. Yes. Lovely. Uh, carry on. So food would do okay. Yeah, coal. Plenty of coal. It's just collecting it all. Uh, hopefully, once we get this post up and running, we'll get the old automaton collecting some of that um, coal. Huge success. Sir, so, the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at a lower cost and used in the med medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. It also turns out that we can remove some non-essential parts. Oh, so they can be used at medical facilities. Nice. And the cost of automatons falls by 5%. Nice. But it still uses the same core though, doesn't it? Yes. There's two there, but yeah, cool. Problem is, I do need some more steam cores. Okay, you go work that one. Lovely. And once this one is done, I'll uh, put one back in there as well. Oh, the cogs are oiled. Nice. Oh, we're getting loads of these beasts now. There's been no gatherable resources in range. Oh, you know what? It's just missed it, isn't it? Damn it. That is typical. And guess what? I don't have the wood. Let's build another one. I will do it in a minute, though. So, gathering post. 15 wood, 5 steel. Go rest all who can. Uh, steel works, I could do it. Getting done. I wonder if. I don't, no, I don't think I'll do that one. Low coal. Cold hopes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. 
they quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and actually address the problem. You'll have two days to... Uh, you'll have to start heating three of the cold homes within two days and then keep the heat for two days. Well, it's just about to massively drop in temperature, so no. Let's heat all homes. Uh, I won't address this right now. I think I'm going for that option. I need coal big time. Um, can I make these trump boosts? I might make these work for 24 hours. The problem is I've only got 13 steel and if I use it all on, on the post and then like the steel mill turns out it needs steel to be built. Uh, I'm going to be right screwed over. I think I've got enough coal to last a morning. No, I've not. No, I do not. Oh, bloody hell. Um, okay. Everyone off. Automaton on. Get me some coal coming in. ASAP. Right. Turn that off. Turn that off. It's, I'm not going to turn it off for long, but I'm just going to turn it off just for a couple of minutes. Just to allow me to get some coal to come in. And then I'm going to say... Every time. Ooh. Yeah. Let's make the pick max people out in there as well. Make the most of it. There we go. Steelworks researched. What will I need next? Maybe just normal coal mining. I think that's going to be critical. So let's do that. And then let's also build a steelworks which is just wood so that's good put that over there and then a I am short of steel a gathering post oh well Let's get this built. Yeah, it's 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 just about going up. It won't for long because I'm gonna have to turn these heaters back on soon. But hopefully we're okay. Okay, I've got to employ some load of automatons in different categories. Okay, that I can do. Right, or Tom Tom, working the steel works. Brilliant. I don't know why it says it's under construction. Probably because the street is. Fair enough. That's understandable. Right, the temperature within pretty much the next day is literally going to drop to minus 60 so this is where it could all go really horribly wrong uh, so for that reason I think what I'll do is I'll leave it here and we'll have to wait and see whether or not I survive that massive temperature drop so thanks for watching everyone I've been Roman with and I'll catch you next time